The upper respiratory tract is very important for many patients who have a blocked nose or blocked sinuses. They have a uh, severe impairment of their health-related quality of life and of their sleep. I am a senior ear, nose and throat surgeon and professor here at the Department of ENT Head and Neck Surgery, Sorgenska University Hospital. In my clinical work, I'm a sinonasal surgeon. Uh, I also uh, take care of patients with facial trauma and facial fractures. Our research group has uh, had long-standing research within upper and lower airway inflammation. In this picture here, we see the upper respiratory tract and the nasal cavities, and it's covered with uh, a mucous membrane, which is the same as we find further down here in the bronchi and the lungs. And this is a main connection between upper and lower airway inflammation that has got the same mucosa that can be affected by the bloodstream and the inflammatory uh, processes. Chronic upper airway inflammation is quite common in the population, both among uh, children and adults, and uh, they have problems uh, around the clock that would be similar to you and me having uh, the cold or a flu, and that affects their health-related quality of life quite significantly. Of course, we find this research very interesting and important, and uh, by doing a lot of clinical and epidemiological studies in big cohorts, we hope actually to make a change for these patients.